I'm at the airport in Dubai and I'm waiting to board my flight from Dubai to Auckland. Um, incidentally, that's the third longest commercial flight by distance in the world. So quite a long flight, it takes uh, something like 16 and a half hours. Um, and I've already been traveling for, I think about 12 hours so far. Um, so yeah, a decent transit time. And I thought this would be a suitable place, a suitable moment to make a vlog about beating jet lag with Qigong. Um, because often if I, if I talk to other people who travel and, or maybe where I'm going and things like that and you know things like 30 hour transits like I'm in the middle of now, often people say well what do you do about jet lag? Because often when I'm traveling I'm not just going on a holiday, I can't just sleep for a couple of days after I arrive. Um, I need to you know be teaching workshops or, or doing whatever it is that I need to do when I get to the other end. And jet lag is something a lot of people suffer from, so um, Qigong can really help with that. I guess to understand it to begin with, it's helpful for us to define what jet lag is. So just not sleeping for a long time, you know, particularly you're in a not very comfortable position in a plane seat and so you don't get a lot of sleep for, you know, for me it's going to be well over 48 hours probably without much sleep. Understandably, that makes you tired. Um, being tired from that is not jet lag. You know, when we, we miss out on a lot of sleep, often we need to catch some of that up. What jet lag is, is when you get to your destination, and it's a different time zone, and for the trip that I'm on, so I started in Mauritius going to New Zealand, it's going to be a nine hour difference. So close to about as big as you can get um, when I get to New Zealand from where I was. So, um, it's about that change in, in time and your body not being accustomed to it and so what you find is at night time you can't sleep, then during the day you feel tired, you want to eat at some times and, and it's not really convenient and then other times when it's time to eat you don't feel like it. It's this confusion of your body and what that does is it, well, it makes you feel terrible for a, for a while and um, it, it makes it hard to catch up on that lack of sleep, that lack of rest that you've had. And so it makes it drag on for longer rather than just simply catching up and carrying on because everything's out of order and you're, you know, you don't want to sleep when it's, it's time to sleep and you know, it, it means that whole process takes longer to recover. So this ties in really well with, um, with what we talked about in one of the vlogs recently about how our body has patterns that tie in with the rhythm of nature. And some of these patterns are really quite specific, tying in with different times of day for different organs and things like that, because there's a natural pattern of when we want our body wants to wake up, when it wants to eat, when it wants to drink, and so on. If you're interested in that, maybe check out the other vlog. Um, it was about the Chinese meridian clock. And understanding this, can really really help us to deal with things like jet lag because what we need to do is get the energy of our body functioning in harmony with the new time zone where we're at so it's so it recognizes because because you get to the new time zone and maybe instead of the energy being going into your gallbladder and liver in the middle of the, of the night which is great for resting and sleeping and burning fat you know, it might be just starting to go into the heart or something. So it wants to be active and, and it gets really confused. So if you can adjust that flow, so the energy's flowing back where it should be at the suitable time for your new destination, well, then you're going to adjust much quick, more quickly. So there's a few different ways you can do it. Um, the 12 rivers exercises from one of the long white cloud qigong uh, practices is really really good for this because those exercises what they do is they stimulate the energy in one meridian then another then another and it moves it all the way through the cycle and the way you can do this is practice in harmony with the time of day where you are so say it's um, say it's the time for the heart we land you do the exercises starting with the exercise for the heart so that activates the energy in the heart you then go through all of the other meridians in order so it kind of pushes the energy through you get back you finish with the heart again and it helps the body to reset to the time where it is of course this this isn't necessarily a quick fix because um, it, 
the more you practice, the more skilled you become at adjusting the flow of energy in your body. So after you've practiced for a while, this will work really, really well. Will it help you straight away? Maybe, but, um, but it's something you might need to practice for a while to be able to, um, to really get the benefit of. Um, there are other ways of doing this as well. Same principle, moving the energy through the meridians um, to get it back to the time of where you're at. Um, so that your body reharmonizes and can adjust to the rhythms of where you're at. And we're going to talk about uh, one of those actually in the upcoming Introduction to Qigong Healing course. Um, and that's one that you can actually use to help other people as well as yourself. So um, that's not ready just yet, but look forward to that soon. Uh, that new course is going to be coming out soon. Okay, well, I need to catch my flight soon. I look forward to catching you on uh, the next vlog.